the yippee yippee get you What's up you guys this is your boy super sun and i am back with another legendary video what are we doing today and on the mustang it's touching and sitting on the tire so i marked it where i'm gonna hammer the fender up so this car is able to drive so with that being said i gotta jack this car up take the wheels off so with that being said let's get started on star so this is where i'll be hitting it i don't know if y'all can see that line but from right here all the way to right here, I'm going to hammer this up and fold it up because that's what's sitting on the tire. So let me do this and I'll pull you guys back out. All right, about five minutes have passed. And as you can see, I marked it right here. Can't see it, there you go. I marked it right here to let me know to hammer it and it is folded all the way up all the way over here i'm not gonna go too crazy but i just wanted it folded up enough to where if it does touch the tire it's just rubbing lightweight it won't be cutting on it so i'm gonna put the wheel back on and let's see hopefully i made enough clearance and all i'm using is a hammer by the way so that's why you see the paint chipping and everything i might give it a couple more wax but hey so far so good all righty and i folded it up just enough y'all see the clearance now and i even would i even went a little past the lines just to make sure All right, I know you guys are probably wondering, well, what about when you gas off and you squat or when you try to launch? One thing about these e lowering springs is that my ride is real stiff. So my car don't squat when I take off. Now, when I do turn and all the weight is on one side, yes, the car lean a little bit, but as far as me going in a straight line, the car is pretty much a stiff ride which i like it because i'm able to run an aggressive fitment like this and not have nothing to worry about so as you can see it worked i'm gonna leave this as is i'm gonna go do the passenger side so as you can see it's it's sitting well it's not sitting on the tire but it's it's right there so let's go ahead take this wheel off hammer this side i also marked it right there and right there so see y'all in a little bit all right passenger side is done oh yeah we mobile now baby we are mobile so with that being said what's up you guys it's your boy super sun and i am back same video different day so in the last video you seen what well, in the first half i did probably a week ago and you seen that i hammered the fender the uh the fender lip in and i marked it from there to there well as you can see a little bit past it i was coming up in my driveway at an angle like i always do and look it's still pieces of tire because it just chewed my tire up. So now I gotta go and just uh, hammer the rest of it in, but that's not even the worst part. You wanna see the worst part? Bam, look, it took a chunk out of my tire all the way around, but it's all right. I'm gonna get my fitment right, I'm gonna get everything worked out, and I'm gonna just go replace the tire. Nothing too bad, nothing too, too much hard work the pa the passenger side is already good in a1 but the driver's side still need it i already got both wheels off because i am going to do both sides i'd rather be safe than sorry so with that being said let me get this done and we gonna move on to the next car 
So as you see, this is the before, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take it back as far as I can. But this is the before. Alrighty, and this is the this is the after. I hammered it pretty much from, let me find it, from like right here, all the way around to like right there. So hopefully that's enough so it won't rub, but I won't find out till I get it on the ground and pull it in and out of my driveway. But oh my God, look at that. Look at that uh, Ibox sway bar, maximum motorsport control arms. I mean, spring with the sway bar. Oh yes. Whole bunch of amazingness going on here. All right, so I'm gonna put the wheel on here. Me too. And we go jump to the other side and get that done. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, the passenger side still looks the same from the previous video. But like, like I said, I stopped right here. So I'm gonna just hammer back as far as possible both ways and we will go from there but this is the before on the passenger side so i don't have my tripod so i'm propping you guys up on my wheel so what i did i pretty much got a hammer now the car is going to get painted again regardless so i really don't care about the paint the chippings and the flakes and everything so what i did i hammered it this way I hammered it this way, like that, to fold it up. And then once I got it all folded up to where I wanted, I grabbed the hammer like this, and I kind of went like that. So it'll sit flush against the little, little thing right here. I don't know what it's called. She got a nice butt. But yeah, so it sits flush with it. So I got to do that pretty much to the driver's side because all I did on the driver's side was hammer it up. I didn't kind of pull it. So yeah, so I'm gonna finish doing the passenger side and then I'm gonna jump over, finish the, uh, pull the driver's side and then we go put the wheels on, lower it and let's see what it's looking like. I am done. It's all tucked away. Still barely got a inch of wiggle room, but it's all good to go. the worst that's gonna happen is that it's gonna rub which i'm fine with rubbing so that's no biggie so alrighty, i need to do some hammering on the camaro and then i gotta swap cars so this is the end of this video with star thank you for liking thank you for watching most make sure you hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time your boy posts a video Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch me. I'm out. Peace. Peace.